Despite a year-long battle with cancer, one Grand Island Northwest High School senior isn't letting the tough times get her down. In fact, her cancer has inspired her to help others. New at 5, NBC Nebraska's Kelly Baumgarten joins us live in the studio. Kelly, what has Lindsay been doing? Lauren and Eamon, Lindsay has taken a negative thing that happened to her and turned it into a positive. Today, she hosted a fundraiser to raise money for others suffering from cancer. She tells me that she feels fortunate that her cancer is curable and knows there are many others out there who have it much worse than her. Senior year of high school, most 17-year-old girls spend it planning out their prom dress, making memories with their friends, and getting ready for college. I mean, it's not the senior year I thought I'd have, but I mean, it's still, it's not as bad as it could be. But for Lindsay Johnson, it's meant having surgery, going through chemotherapy, and losing her hair. I guess I kind of just have the attitude it'll be okay. I mean, it'll be over in six months, hopefully, and then I can go on with everything. She was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma at the end of August. When her boyfriend Andrew got the news, he feared the worst, losing his high school sweetheart. Honestly, I was just scared to death, you know. We've been through so much together. But she's remained positive through it all. I'm extremely proud of her. I've always been very proud of her. She's still walking around with a big smile on her face like she's not going through anything. And it's a battle that's familiar to the family. Her mother survived after being diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma 10 years ago. I'm sorry she has it, but maybe that's why God gave it to me, so I could coach her through it. Lindsay's cancer is curable, and after six months of chemo, she expects to move on with her life. But her experience has inspired her to help those who aren't as lucky. It's not easy for me, but I know how hard it is for other people. Lindsay started selling bracelets and t-shirts shortly after her diagnosis. And on Sunday, she held a fundraiser with plans to donate all the money raised to the Children's Hospital in Omaha. It really defines who you are because you can either, it can either make you or break you. Lindsay's last day of chemo will be March 3rd. She says her cancer has made her realize that she wants to spend her life helping others overcome the disease. Kelly Baumgarten live in our studio tonight. Kelly, thank you so much for that incredible story. I mean, that young woman is really an inspiration to everybody. Absolutely. I, you, think, you would think that when you get a diagnosis like that, especially something that your mother had, you might be close to shutting down. You might right. just kind of stay to yourself. But to be able to help out others, that's amazing. An incredible outlook on that.